everyone welcome back to my channel for today's video i'm going to be doing my memory spread for the week of february 6th through the 12th and for this week i'm going to be using a pillow talk from spc which looks a little something like this i'm obsessed with this kit and these colors i think they are stunning and in case you guys are new here, I am a part of SPC's affiliate team, so you guys can use code ALISA10 to save on your next purchase. But this is what the ultimate kit looks like. This was the freebie that came with it. We have the doodle add-on and the fashion add-on. And for this week, I'm going to be using a mixed metal of hollow and lavender hollow so firstly i have these like monthly scripts from press press i just got these to use the dates of the week i have these valentine's day cool box overlays and hollow from spc i have planet hannah's january font of the month script sampler which just has little hearts in it which i think is perfect and then i have the mixed metal foil bundle from Scribble Prints Co. in the shimmer format, I want to say. But this is what it looks like. We have two pages of full boxes and headers. I have the scripts and icons and the bottom washi page. And I'm going to be pulling in, instead of regular bougie boxes, I'm going to be using the Valentine's Day underlays, which have like a, it's like a, I like to call it like a quilted heart pattern is what it reminds me of, but I'm obsessed with it and I cannot wait to see these laid down for the first time in my planner. But anyways, without further ado, I am going to go ahead and put down the base of the spread and I'll be right back. Okay, not to be dramatic, but this spread is literally everything. Like, this is definitely my favorite spread that I've done so far this year. It is stunning. It is perfection. The foil, everything about it, I'm literally obsessed. Like, oh my goodness, it is so good. But anyways, how has everyone been doing this past week or so since the last time I talked to you guys? I have been chilling at home, you know, applying for jobs, all that fun stuff, reading lots of books, watching some TV shows, and yeah, it's been a pretty boring few weeks, so, you know, what's new? Um, this week, I forgot to ask you guys to ask me questions <laughs> for while I put down the base of the spread, so I'm gonna blabber on for the next eight minutes, and hopefully what I talk about makes some sense, but this week in particular, this was actually the week of the Super Bowl, so I felt like it would be nice to talk about that, specifically the halftime show. So I am, I do enjoy watching football, but I just don't go out of my way to watch it on TV because I find it kind of boring in that sense. Um, and I've never, I don't really have a team in the NFL or even college football that I follow in particular. But when I went to Oklahoma State University, I would always get the all sports pass, which was like a hundred bucks at the beginning of the year. And then you could get into any sporting event any like whether it be football baseball wrestling whatever you can get into any of those events for free throughout the year so i literally got the all sports pass just to go to the football games and i went to every single football game for the three and a half years that i was at osu and it was so much fun i loved going to the football games like the energy and stuff is just something you have to experience like in person for yourself um but anyways once I left OSU, I never watched any football again, except for the Super Bowl. I watch the Super Bowl every year, despite who is playing or who isn't playing. I specifically watch it just so I don't miss, like, commercials and the halftime show, but I still, like, pay attention, you know, so. But anyways, this year, Rihanna was our Super Bowl halftime performer, and, okay, when she was originally announced as a Super Bowl halftime performer, in my head, I was like, okay, we're getting new music, right? Like, she wouldn't have come out of her, like, hiatus, her music hiatus after, like, seven or eight years to do this big performance and not have new music coming out within, like, the next year or so. So I was very excited. 
just because of that because Rihanna is like my entire childhood like middle school high school like she was it for me like I love me some Rihanna um but then she gets up on stage and homegirl's pregnant <laughs> again so I definitely do not think we're going to get new music from Rihanna anytime soon which is really upsetting to me but I I was a little disappointed by her Super Bowl halftime performance, but I still really enjoyed everything. Obviously, she had to, like, tone it down a notch because she's, like, five months pregnant or whatever. I don't know. Um, so, obviously, she couldn't go, like, as hard as she would have if she wasn't pregnant. I can't believe someone signed off to let someone as pregnant as she was get, like, 60 feet up in the air on these very sketchy platforms hung up by some very sketchy cables. Like, mm -mm could not be me but as far as like the songs that she performed she pretty much performed everything I thought that she was going to sing um like some of her biggest hits honestly I was a little disappointed that we didn't get some like major throwbacks like Disturbia or like Ponda Replay or anything like that the one song that I was really hoping and praying that she would perform that she didn't and I was so disappointed was Needed Me easily one of my favorite songs by Rihanna if not my favorite songs and I was so sad that she didn't perform it but she did perform um Umbrella which I mean it would have been like a huge miss if she didn't perform that I really run this town as a very close second as a favorite of mine by her and she performed it and I was very happy but I I'm starting to think that some of these performers need to like hire people off of TikTok to like plan out their performances because I was seeing so many predictions on TikTok for what people thought Rihanna was going to do and they were so freaking good that I knew like if she did anything other than any what anyone said in these videos like I was going to be disappointed and that's exactly what happened so definitely think people need to uh, start researching TikTok for ideas for performances because People on TikTok have some major talent <laughs> in that aspect. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, I think this week was also the week that we got some major, like, Yellowstone news, like, that I'm not happy about. So, if you guys don't already know, I'm a huge Yellowstone fan, the TV show, and it was recently announced that we recently got, like, the first half of season five, and the second half of season five was supposed to air this coming summer. But apparently Kevin Costner doesn't, is like feuding with people on set and they haven't even filmed the second half of season five and they don't know if Kevin Costner is going to continue doing the show or what is going on. And if you don't know, Kevin Costner is Yellowstone. He's John Dutton. Like there's no Yellowstone without Kevin Costner. So I'm getting a little nervous about the future of Yellowstone. They announced that they're doing they're writing like a Yellowstone spinoff with Matthew McConaughey as the lead and I don't know like are they doing this because they don't see Yellowstone going on very much longer so I'm kind of nervous I will watch like anything Yellowstone related but like the original show is like it has my heart and if it doesn't continue just because of one person I'm gonna be so upset so let me know if you guys watch Yellowstone and what your opinions on that stuff is because I'm getting very nervous. Another thing that happened this week is Showtime announced that they're making another Dexter spinoff. And if you guys were around this time last year, you know my opinions on the first Dexter spinoff that they did and how much I hated it. So I'm not... I'm obviously going to watch this new spinoff, but I just don't know how to feel about it because the spinoff, according to their description, is going to be like Dexter graduating college and starting at Miami Metro, which obviously, like, Michael C. Hall, who played Dexter in the original series, isn't going to be able to play a young Dexter, like an early 20s Dexter anymore. So I'm kind of nervous to see who they would cast to play Dexter because I feel like it takes a very spurt like, a very special person to play such a dark and complex character, and Michael C. Hall did that so perfectly that I don't, I don't know of anyone that looks even remotely like Michael C. Hall that I feel like could play Dexter as well as he did, so I'm kind of nervous about that, but anyways, I managed to talk for eight minutes. Look at me 
so proud of myself. Um, so let's get into talking about the plans for this week or what I did this week. So first thing, Monday morning, woke up early, uploaded a video. And then I don't know why, but me and my sister like got the like sudden urge to like get into diamond painting. So we, I did a little bit of that. I got some diamond paintings for us off of Amazon and then a couple more off of Sheen um, because the Sheen diamond paintings are very, very cheap. Um, so I've been doing that and it's been a good way for me to like decompress a little bit and I listen to audiobooks while I do it so it's like a win-win for me and then after that I went to the library to drop a few things off and then I needed to do some shopping to get some things don't remember what and then I started a new book this evening. Moving on to Tuesday now, I started off by marking down that it was a rainy day, which is always <laughs> super fun. I did have to print off some labels because I've been doing quite a lot of de-stashing. Um, I've had some people ask me, like, why I'm de-stashing these kits. If you guys notice, when I de-stash kits, like, I don't usually de-stash the add-ons for them because they're kits that I want to repurchase again in the future. But you guys know I'm not working right now so I'm trying to de-stash the kits I don't see myself using within the next year so that I have money to like buy the stuff that I need like ASAP. So that's why I've been doing a lot of de-stashing and that's why I haven't been de-stashing like add-ons and stuff because I do plan to get the kits again in the future because I love them so much. I don't want to de-stash them but I feel like I have to so that's why I've been doing that in case you guys were wondering because I've been doing a lot of that on Instagram. Um, but anyways I printed out some labels to do to ship some things off and then I did some laundry this day. We got Panda Express for dinner and then I marked down that I was in my feelings. This was just like a really rough evening for me. I don't know why. So I called my sister and had her like calm me down just a little bit. So that was much needed. And then I ended my evening by reading my book some more. So yeah. Moving on to Wednesday now, the very first thing that I marked off was that I went to the post office to drop off some things and then I had to pick up Bay's pain medicine from the vet because she was running low. We recently had this conversation, actually last night, thinking about when is the right time to let Bay go because even with pain meds, like she still has such a hard time getting around. And I don't know about you guys, but I would much rather euthanize a pet like a week early than a day late is what I like to say. Um, I don't like seeing her in pain. It stresses me out just watching her walk around the house because, um, yeah. Homegirl's old. She's very old and I don't know. I just feel like we need to start considering, you know, putting her down soon, which is really unfortunate because she's been with us for quite some time. But yeah, I just, I hate seeing her being miserable, but that's besides the point. Um, anyways, I picked up SBC's new releases this day. I laid down the base to a spread, did some more reading, and then me and my sister FaceTimed for a bit. And then I ended my evening by having a movie night with my mother this day. And then we'll move on to Thursday now. First thing I marked down was that I slept in and then I had to make a post office run because we were out, not post office, what am I talking about? Pet store run because we were out of cat food and we were starting to get low on our small dog dog food um so I had to pick some of that stuff up and then I marked down that I got a lot of happy mail this day so that was super exciting. And then I pulled stickers and filmed a spread this day. And then I continued reading my book in the evening. Thursday was quite a boring day. Not a lot going on. I feel like if I remember correctly, Thursday was also like quite cold. So I didn't uh, have it in me to venture outside the house very much this day. So yeah. Anyways, moving on to Friday now. The first thing that I marked down was that I went to the gym and on my way home I had to fill up my gas tank because I was running really low and then I got, I want to say I got McAllister's for lunch this day. So I did that and then I continued doing my diamond painting some more. I finished reading my physical book and then I watched The Last of Us this night because of the Super Bowl. The Last of Us premiered on 
on a Friday this week instead of a Sunday, so I had to mark that down. Now, moving on to Saturday, I started off my morning by going to Dutch Bros to get some caffeine in me because I ran out of my usual energy drinks, so I needed something to get me through the day, so I marked that down. And then I went to do a quick little grocery run this day. And then, of course, I had listened to more of my audiobook, and then this Saturday was Deep Clean the Litter Box Day, so I took the litter box outside, hosed it down, I scrubbed it, all that fun stuff, made it nice and clean for our very picky cats, and then I marked down that, again, just emotionally, there was a lot going on Saturday night, so I marked down that I was over it, I was tired, I just, I, yeah. It was just a long afternoon, Saturday, and then I marked down that I binge watch you this day, right? Because you came out on Thursday, I want to say, this week. So I binged through that, and then I went to bed super duper early on Saturday. And finally for this week, I started off my Sunday by going to the gym bright and early in the morning, and then I came home and filmed, or recorded, I should say, my voiceover for the plan with me I uploaded the following Monday. I took a much-needed nap, continued to binge through the first half of you. Speaking of you... If you guys watch the trailer for part two that comes out next month, I'm still really annoyed that they split it up, the episodes, like, in part one and part two, and they're only, like, a month apart, but that's besides the point. But anyways, if you guys watch the trailer for part two of season, are we on season five or season four? Anyways, of you, what do you think about that little scene where we got to see love again? I'm hoping and praying that it's not a hallucination or a dream of any sort. It's like I really love is like I love her so much. Like she's such a fun and interesting character and I like to believe that she survived the fire and stuff in the last season. So let me know what you guys think about that. But anyways, finished part one of You This Day. And then I had a YouTube binge, watched the Super Bowl, and I started a new book before heading to bed this day. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this plan with me. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, I'll have all the shops featured linked in the description box down below, as well as any coupon codes or referral links I have for them. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!